Okay, so we're supposed to be coming to our place. I think this is, is this it? 4,601? Nah, we gotta go 3,900. So I guess further down here, on this street down here, is where we're supposed to be going. <coughs> Man, Tate, these sinus and bronchitis is kicking my butt. Oh my God. He's some little narrow roads right here. So we're picking up at Groveport, Ohio, and we're taking it somewhere in Illinois. I don't even know who this is. People are always calling me when I'm trying to film. Oh my God. Let me calling man they don't even give you time sometimes to get over here anyway i'm going to whatever it is 30 3900 griffin i don't know if that was no track and trail so that definitely ain't it it's probably in here somewhere so we'll be getting there. yeah uh they said griffin wheels but this yeah griffin wheels 3900 i guess this is where i go in at hopefully i don't have no idea We'll see in a minute when we turn in here. I think we get railroad wheels. I haven't had, I had one set of these one year ago. And me and my friend was just talking about, Marshall was talking about these railroad wheels. And I told him I didn't like them. And he was like, man, they ain't that bad. So I hauled them one time and that was it. So anyway, y'all, we're going to have to cut the camera because we got to check in here with security guards and we'll get back. So here's all the railroad. This is the stuff we supposed to be hauling. I thought we was doing the wheels. And it's actually the wheels, but they broke down so i guess these are old wheels so we they gave us a paper that we supposed to look at directions how to do this how to strap it down y'all can see i never hauled them like that i hauled them the other way when they was together so i guess it's several basically you're throwing a strap a chain across or and then you can do straps Anyway, we have figured out almost something similar to the core. We're supposed to go back here and I think she said stop sign or something. I've got to put safety hat, uh, all that equipment on. I don't know how far I'm supposed to go back here. Let's go all the way back here, but I got to put a safety vest on, hard hat, and steel toe boots. So I got my steel toe boots over there. I guess I go back here to the back. I don't know. I'm lost. I'm lost. Maybe I stop right here, I guess. I have no idea. She said a stop sign. There ain't no stop sign here. That guy ain't got no safety vest and all that on. So maybe I'm going out there and load. Anyway, let's get our boots on and get ready and put this safety vest on. So when they come get us. Cause they probably loading up there with the wheels that I have no idea. So before I pull up and get ready to close this, this first time loading this, but I figured out how to do it and they kind of helped me. It's a little strategy to it, but a little work too. I'm tired as hell. Strapping this down. So I'm gonna come up here and show y'all basically what I had to do. 
So, let me get on this side. So the first chain on this, you have to pull it back, pull it that way. Second chain, you gotta go across. And the reason you're pulling it back with the first chain right here is so you can push it all back this way. All right, so that's how you do the first and rest of them. You can throw straps across and then we come to the end and you had to do the chain the opposite way. So straps across all these, make sure they straighten across here. Y'all can see the chain right here pulling back this way. So, and across. So if anything go forward, hitting your brakes, it's gonna scoot into this and up that way gonna come back this way. So that's basically it. Some of these straps, they line up even, so we, I went across at an angle to make sure we get it on the boards and tighten it down, as y'all can see. So, simple and a lot of work. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let's close this and let's head to uh, Illinois, Illinois. Where we heading? I gotta get down from here. I got all this hot equipment out here. About 100 degrees. Y'all can see I got the helmet on, the vest. I'm hot. I'm wet. I'm pouring out sweat. Anyway, I gotta get in the cool. Close this up. We'll see y'all when we leave.
So we are coming up to our place up here. Wheel works up here. Well, I get in there when these cars get out the way. We actually supposed to be meeting our uh, Sir Lauren. A lot of y'all know he got a channel, and hopefully he can meet me up here. But it look like they probably unload me quick, and then I got to pick up another load. So we hoping that that works out. That uh, I can meet him. He can meet me because he said he's about twenty some miles from here. But he had to go to a meeting first. And then he was going to try to meet me, but I don't know where my next pickup is. I know I got another pickup somewhere, so he might have to meet me there because it don't look like they got a lot of trucks here, so I should be able to get in here and get out. So we will see. I guess this is where we're supposed to go in at. Well, I think they had a truck ahead of me. So they unloading this and I believe this guy's getting ready, probably going there next. They might well they probably unload him from the outside. I don't know how they want to unload me, but I'll find out when I get in here maybe if I can type place him. Yeah. They got dog on wheels anyway. See, that's when I'm used to carrying the big wheels like that. Um, then I got the ones like this. See, that's the whole unit though with the train. So I guess we'll pull them in here and we'll find them. Let me go ahead and check in over here, baby. So we did get that lonely beer, got anything like all. I think we headed somewhere about 90 some miles, some part of Illinois, then we taking that to uh, Arkansas. <laughs> I can't remember. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, hit that thumbs up, hit that like button, go ahead and subscribe button, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Y'all know what it is. Stay life, truck life, they too will life.